Okay, step two, once you've got your clay centered, you want to open your clay. Because you want to start making it look more like a pot, less like a blob of clay. So I've already got my clay centered, so now I'm going to open it. To open it, I'm going to first show you what not to do. So hopefully this isn't what sticks in your head. Because I got some of my goo off of there. If you ever have a little blob of clay on just one spot on the back, it's going to make your hands kind of ride that bump, and then you're going to end up um, throwing unevenly. Centering and having it even is really important to craftsmanship issues. Okay, So do not just put your thumbs together and drill right in there. You actually want to cup your clay. You always want to kind of reassure it. You want to touch as much as possible on the clay. You don't want to stop and start with your hands touching the clay. Always take your hands away if you're going to stop it. Um, and get it up to speed before you start touching it. So I'm going to cut my clay, I'm going to keep my thumbs tight together, and I'm going to slowly bring the tips of my thumbs down into the clay. Now, If your hands are smaller, or if your thumbs aren't very strong, there's another way to do that as well, and that's to put your left hand, again if you're left-handed, um, every time I say left, think right, and vice versa. Okay. The other way to, to open, or one other way to open, cup your with your left hand, put your thumb across the clay, slide the middle finger of your right hand down that thumb, and again, bracing the clay. Oops, I got a little little chunk sliding out there. That's okay. Make sure you got some water on there. You want that to be nice and slippery. Friction causes you problems. You just slide that hand down into the opening. And then once you get down about a quarter to probably half inch away from the bottom, then you want to, you can stop it and take your needle, press down, bring your finger all the way down to the clay, and if you don't move enough in here, the lights go off. Sorry about that. Apparently the, the magic eye was not paying attention. Okay, so that let me see how thick it is. And notice, I don't know if you can see that, there's only just maybe uh, a little more than an eighth of an inch. So really I opened it too far. But I'm going to kill this. It's okay. So you really want it to be about a half an inch of clay down at the bottom. Once you open it far enough though, you're going to also you're going to widen that so it's more like a bucket. You don't want it just to be a little, a little opening. You want to open it as wide as you're going to want the inside to be when you're done. You also want to compress the clay on the bottom, and so you want to run your fingers back and forth along the floor of the pot. And you got to think about what are you going to make in the end. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to make cylinders, though. Okay, so this is my second step: was opening. The first step, remember, was centering. You got to center first, then you need to open. Again, for opening, you don't want to go all the way to the bat. You want to have about, oh, about that thick a bottom to it. You can check it with your needle. And then once you get down far enough, then you pull back towards you or separate your thumbs so that you can make it more of a square bottom instead of just like a little U or a V.